back in the game as we begin our fourth and final quarter. Perpetual up by 10. Aqueti, maling tao ang pinasahan. Agawan si Pasqua and si Munsayak. Binalik ni Pasqua kay Munsayak. Sabi ni Munsayak, teka lang. And here is the team captain of the Generals, Munsayak to Corilla with a fake. Lamino. And an offensive foul. Ito tawag. Kay Hamadu Lamino. Pangatlo na yan ni Lamino. Pero maganda yung ikot ng bola doon ng EAC Generals. Of course, they would love na nakakonvert sila sa possession na yun. Pero yun lang nga, kailangan nilang bumaya on the defensive end and make stops. A string of stops is good enough na mahabol nyo lang to. Morada, pinag-uusapan natin. One of ten from beyond the arc. Jore Morada, who was the best player in their last game against Letran. Itong si Morada scored 18 points in 28 minutes along with those 10 rebounds. Pero ngayon, struggle nga itong si Morada, Pasqua also struggled, struggles from the outside. Balik ang bola sa perpetual help, and they will tie their biggest lead at 12 points, 50 to 38. Coach Andy, nga medyo pinagalit nito si Pasqua. That was a bad shot right there for the young point guard. If you are, if you are trying to catch up sa ganitong team, kailangan mo ng mga better shots. Kaya naman medyo execute tayo sabi ni Coach Andy Pinilit ni Ese ang tira niya doon Nakuha naman ni Corilla ang rebound Corilla, nanap si Munsayak Munsayak the lob inside to Lamino Lamino, a couple of fakes No, on Muberes there And he has fouled Scotty Thompson now has f just 4 points Mikey, 8 assists and 10 rebounds Scotty Thompson averaging In the assist department 7.8 Just next to Giovanni Halalon. Well, we all know Giovanni Halalon nga ang lead, leading assist man natin. Pero may mga teammates din yan na talagang gumagawa. Tinutulungan siya, especially last year na nag-final sila. Nanunod nga daw ngayon si Mr. Levy Hernandez ang kanilang scorer oh, wow. from last year. Marami sa Pag may mga ganun kakakampi, talagang gagana ang umassist. Teammate ko siya ngayon sa aming commercial league. So I'm excited to play with him again, of course, when I, when I, when I come back. But then, of course, punta, rin, punta muna tayo kay Mertel. Mertel, ano meron dyan? Andre, Mikey, ngayon nga kasama natin ang mga students natin mula sa Perpetual Health System Altas. Alam niyo ba, let, alam niyo ba ito mga students natin pumunta pa talaga mula Las Piens, two hours away. At ngayon nga kasama natin si Webea. Bakit na kayo lagi sumusuport sa team ninyo kahit pala yung school? Kasi whatever happens, we're 100% behind our schools back. And kahit lag, kapag may time kami, lagi kaming nanonood kahit na sobrang layo. Although na from sa Las Piñas kami, then sila sa San Juan, we'll always be there for our team no matter what because we support Perpetual and we'll always be there for Perpetual. At tinig ko, maliban sa pagpunta sa school nyo, nanonood din kayo, tama, di ba? Yes, yeah, so especially sa course ko kasi accounting ako, kapag di ako nakakanood ng live, uh, dun sa school namin, sa canteen, sa lobby, uh, we watch, we support, even though we're not here physically, but um, our presence is always there and then kapag sa bahay nagawa ng assignment, yun, nanonood pa rin ako no matter what kasi we'll always be there for perpetual health. Eh, ba't talaga magpakita ng school spirit ang ating mga NCAA schools? Kaya naman, may kuna sa inyo dahil. Thank you, Myrtle, at salamat din sa mga manonood mula pa sa Las Piñas, yung yung uh, University of Perpetual Health Faithful. I want to give them all the credit kasi grabe naman ang support nila. Hindi naman talaga kalapitan. Alam naman natin with the situation of the traffic here in Metro Manila. It's no joke to come here during the games all the way from Las Piñas. Pero matagal-tagal din hinintay ng Perpetual yung mga ganitong class. Yes. Kasi, we all know before medyo nagsistruggle yung team na to sa NCAA. But now they are with their ano with their support na biyayaan sila ng team na ganito who are actually favorites to win our title to dethrone our side of the Gab Dagangon ilista mo na isa pang tres mula kay Gab Dagangon and it will be Dagangon's first three-pointer today Perpetual starting to pull away from the EAC Generals and the EAC Generals need to step it up they need to convert and they need to stop itong offense ng Perpetual. And that... Munsayak na hanap si Onwobere at mapapaul dun si Sid Onwobere. Isang magandang hapon din sa ating mga manunod. Bago nun, eto, tingnan muna natin ang ating fast play of the game. Brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Life. Munsayak with that teardrop for his 11th point. Again, changed his mind 
instead of taking the three, went closer. That was a good move para kay Monsaya. Yun ang mga galaw na kailangan ng mga minions. Katulad ni Monsaya. Mga ganong floater para hindi, pa, hindi, hindi ka pa makakalapit sa big man. E nabato mo na yung bola. So that was a good move by Bonsaya. At saka medyo nagsistruggle siya from the outside. And it was smart for him to look for his offense inside. Dagangon has the ball now. Para sa, I, para sa perpetual, that is. Binigay kay Dizon. Dizon ang nakitimon. Dagangon, open! Wala. And who's there for the rebound? It's that man, Scotty Thompson. So we have a triple-double watch for Mr. Earl the Pearl, Scotty Thompson. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Not counting niya lang, Andre. <laughs> Pwede bang isama pa rin sa highlights natin yun? <laughs> Pwede. Hindi nga lang counted eh, no? Second foul called on Thompson. And that was a nice drop off. And Eze. Capital. Oo, oh, ganda sana, no? Capitalizes on the free dunk. Munsayak now using that pick of Lamino. It's a two-man game. Munsayak and Lamino. Na handoff to Mejos. Mejos. The jumper, no go. Lamino is there. On, make that down on Jericho. Diego na tamaan ng foul ni Eze. Bagsak si Earl the Pearl, Scotty Thompson. Ayaw natin makita yan. If you are a perpetual fan, holding on to his left foot. May it be a sprain or you can see the pain on Scotty Thompson's face. And derecho na kagad. Talagang uh, in a talagang uh, in attendance I mean dumiretso to attend and take care of um, si Thompson worried itong coaching staff ng Perpetual Altas ayaw natin makita yan of course Scotty a former MVP reigning MVP that is of the NCAA has been showing us great numbers in this season uh, all, like almost a triple-double machine every game taas mataas yung tinalo niya doon he is still down bounce. yes Natin, you know, we don't want to see these uh, injuries in your last game uh, with Anton Rojas. Yeah, on Friday, si CJ Isit uh, had to go out because of that um, dislocated shoulder. That's Mala right. Rajon Rondo. Dislocated elbow. Oh, elbow. Dis dislocated shoulder si Fonsa Avedra. Yes. And then, no, Jos Aninas uh, didn't play earlier because of that. Suffered a hip injury. On Friday. Sabi ni Thompson mamaya muna is pleading to stay on the ground you first. You can see kung gaano pataas. Yung talon dito ni Earl Scotty Thompson. Naapakan itong si Lamino. So that was unintentional. But then at the same time, minalas itong si Earl Scotty Thompson. From, a, from a different angle, we will take a look. Yung, I think it was the landing yeah, of Thompson. Landing. Mali yung pagsak. Eh, di, natin, di, di, di ko makita from that angle if it's clear na naapakan niya nga yung paa or on his own. Yeah. But there it is. They will ice his left ankle right away. Because from from uh, the looks of it, looks like a uh, high ankle sprain. Usually, they not tell the players. Knowing Scotty Thompson, he will not let this pass. But then with that, we are sure that the injury is not serious. The injury is not serious. It's minor. It's not going to be Puso ba naman? Kasi oh. nag player yan. Yes. Puso yan. Banggit nga ni Coach Olsen that fatigue could probably be a factor for Thompson that he has played and he practices like three, thrice a day, Mikey, for his for his alma mater, which is perpetual for uh, an amateur team, uh, an an um, amateur commercial league team, and also all uh, for for the uh, the country, for the national team. So, pero ito nga, uh, Talagang it happens. Sabi mo nga, it's part of basketball. You in your your playing career, I'm sure you've had a fair your fair <laughs> share of ankle injuries. Sawang sawa na ako sa mga injury ganyan. Andre, pero nga he already has he already played 32 minutes and we still have six and a half minutes left. So, itong game na to 1:30 palang siya nagpapay nga. So I guess ito nga yung sayo mong fatigue. Kitang kita naman all the way to the locker oh, room. He is still wincing in pain. And he is back to the Perpetual Health locker room. Hopefully, we'll, we will get an update. As Monsayak misses from the line, he has uh, over one so far. That's his first attempt today. Francis Monsayak is a good free throw shooter. 86% from the free throw stripes. Splits his charities there. Good afternoon to our members, Colonel Antonio Jeff Tamayo, Perpetual Health, 
Mr. Efren, of course, Paul Supan of JRU, a good friend. Mr. Mar Marlon Mario Carlos of EAC. And Mr. Melchor Divina of Ma Mapua Institute of Technology for watching us from their room today. Diesel to Eze, let us see. Medyo uh, nahirapan doon ang perpetual help stepping out of bounds itong si Eze. So you can see a difference without Scotty Thompson. Medyo mawawala yung organization for perpetual help. Dahil sanay ka if you're an Atlas player that yung bola will in yung offense will run through Thompson. This is when we will see the maturity of the per perpetual Altas in terms of not having Scotty Thompson. Kailangan nila to map up. Eh. Dito si Munsayak talagang pinapatuloy ang, kanilang, ang kanyang pagbomba galing sa labas. Kasi nga naman, we, we doubt that Thompson will come back in this game looking at what ano nangyari sa kanya. 4 points, 12 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 steals na siya today. A very Thompson-esque performance right there. Pero itong si Munsayak nga, ang matapang ang little general ng EAC. Kahit ng isang minsak yan. Bagsak naman ngayon para sa EAC, si Jericho Jeko. We wouldn't like to see all these players falling down and Jekyll is holding to his uh, right knee. Makikita natin, hurts of this replay. Marami salamat kay Direct Abit Ramos of ABS-CBN ABS Sports. Tingnan natin, Jeko. He landed on his left knee. Ayun din, yung split niya. Yung ah. On that split. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andre. No, I'm sorry. I know I'm traumatized by some of the injuries, and I would not want to see those. Groin, yeah, I believe it was his groin. Yes, yes. Yung na stretch dun sa split niya. Of course, you yourself uh, recovering from an unfortunate ACL injury. What is going through your mind when you experience this kind of injury? And do you think about? I'm sure you think about. Your career, yes, your yes, basketball. Yes. What, well, the first, what could happen? The first thought that enters your mind when you, the moment you fall, is, "Tapos na." That's the first thing that enters you your mind. More. Yes, that. Tapos na. Am I done? Am I finally okay. done with basketball? Okay. Then after a while, actually, for the next few days, medyo dun na medyo nagbrighten up na yung araw mo, dun mo malalaman na. Okay, this is what you need to do. Yes. It's doable. Yes. You've seen players recover from ACL injuries from any kind of injury. You've seen yes. players recover from Of course, from yeah. Paul George, bali yung pa, bali yung leg, bumalik. So it's like, Kobe, Maybe they can do yeah. it. Maybe I can do it too. So I guess, dun ka, hindi ka give up. Like, it's not the box. Nakayelo na talaga. Nakapalot na ng yelo. Ang ankle ni Scotty Thompson. So, Hindi natin sure kung makakabalik dito sa Scotty sa laro dahil namamaga na nga ang right ankle. Pero step up naman doon with a jumper si Kevin Oliveria with his sixth point today. Oliveria just averages Mikey three points in season 91 per outing. And here's Jore Morata now. The kick out. General in and out from beyond the arc. May kasama ng malas itong EAC Generals. That shot was halfway down. Yun nga lang, lumabas pa. So, EAC waiting for the bricks to come their way. May chance pa to, Andre. And I, I don't want to sound like negative here dahil wala si Thompson, pero if you're the Generals, this is the time to take advantage na walang Scotty Thompson ng Altas on the floor. And you can't wait. You, you can't wait anymore. Five minutes to go. Eight point lead ang inahabol mo. This is your chance, like you were saying. Oh, pere huli ka, boy! Sabi ni Akwete. Sabi with ni Akwete. a finger wag. Sabi ni Akwete. Ala, dikembe mo tambaw. Nandito naman ako, ah. Sabi ni Bright. <laughs> si Bright nga, medyo hindi pa gumagawa offensively. Pero yung defense niya stepped up and he has contributed defensively naman. Uh -huh. Kahit alam natin na offensive-minded itong si Bright Akwete. Let's go back to Myrtle Sarosa and check if she has an update on Scotty Thompson's condition. Myrtle. Andre, so update nga lang kay Scotty Thompson, you know. Nanggaling ako sa dugout kung saan nila dinala si Scotty. At ngayon nga, ay chinecheck na siya ng ating mga, ng ating mga attending physicians. Ngayon ay kinode compress siya kung saan tinitingnan talaga nila kung sprain nga ba ito o hindi. Sabi nila, sa ngayon mukhang hindi makakabalik si Scotty sa ating game. At hindi sila sigurado kung dadalhin pa ito sa ospital o hindi. Balik muna sa'yo, Andre. Marami salamat, Bertot. So it's really a severe ankle injury sustained by that man, Scotty Thompson, who I'm sure, sabi mo nga, grabe ang puso nitong batang to. Uh, Magka-text pa kami last night and also today. He can't wait to play. But Gab Dagangon, ilista mo na ang pangalawang tres puntos ni Dagangon. He now has a total of eight points today, stepping up without the leader, 
of the Altas na si Scotty Thompson. Pero sabi nga ni Scotty, his heart, you cannot really uh, question it. Gusto, gusto niya maglaro. I'm sure he wants to get back on the floor, but you have that severe ankle injury. Ano sa tingin mo ang kailangan gawin? But the players of Pochak are stepping up. Babalik na tayo. Kaya naman tayo. Coronel holding on to his ankle. Bagsak si Coronel. And the injury bug is, seems like biting everybody here inside the arena. Babalikan natin ang sitwasyon naman ni Coronel. Kanina nga, ankle injury na. Bagsak na hindi na babalik si Scotty Thompson sa laro. We will get back to you after a few reminders. Tignan naman natin si Coronel. Pagsak. Hindi natin makita kung kanino siya nakaapak doon. Pero iniinda niya ang kanyang paa and he will be held out of the court here. But then like you were talking about Scotty Thompson before the break, I believe Perpetual is looking at the bigger picture. I think they have this game in the bag. Unless of course the AC comes up with a good run dito sa last four minutes natin. But they're looking at the bigger picture. Kailangan nila si Scott and Thompson sa next games nila. They hope na hindi it is not as bad as it seems. The next game, babalik na itong the pearl ng Altas na si Scott and Thompson. Balikan naman natin si kasamahang Myrtle Sarosa on this injury update. Myrtle? Uh, Andre, isang update nga dito kay Jeric Diego. Kanina nga, isa na namang maling pagbaksak yung nangyari. Kung saan, uh, medyo na overstretch ang ligaments. Pero ngayon nga, ay mas okay ng pakiramdam ni Jeric. Pero sinusubukan nila kung pwede pa siyang bumalik sa game. Sabi ng ating medic dito, ay kung kaya niya, ay pwede din siyang bumalik. Okay, balik muna sa'yo, Andre. Thank you, Myrtle. Maraming salamat sa pagkuhan mga injury updates ng ating mga players ngayon. Uh, Alam ko nga, uh, kakaiba to dahil uh, sunod-sunod. May Thompson, may Jego, tapos uh, si Coronel naman sa Perpetual. And at the line is Jore Morada. EAC needs to come up with a run. Dito sa last four minutes nga natin. Para mapakahabol dito or at least make the score a little bit more respectable. They're down by 13. And still no signs of a run from EAC. Tagangon, naiwasan ang dalawang nakapula na hanap si Oliveria. Blocked by Amaru Lamino. Monsayak from the outside. Francis yes! Mula sa dress. Para kay Francis Monsayak, ilista mo na ang panglimang tres puntos ni Monsayak. He has a total of 18 points. Today. Masarap siguro pag nagda-drive itong si Monsayak. Parang lahat ng traffic light green. <laughs> Talagang babato at babato, babato to. Galing sa labas. Kita mo naman. Semi-fast break. Hindi ako dyan. Dito lang ako. Pupukol na ako from the outside. Monsayak. 5 threes, Andre. This ocho na nga ang kinakamada ng maliit na mama ng EAC na si Francis Monsayak. Binabati din natin ang kanyang mga magulang na nagpapabati din sa atin today. Turnover para kay Bright Aqueti. Balik ang bola sa EAC na may oras pang makahabol. 3.08 to be exact. You know what's funny, uh, Andre? When I was playing in high school, itong si Francis Ponsaya, San Beda naglalaro to. SBP pa lang siya. Yes, grade that's school right. Pa lang siya. That's right. Ganyan na itsura niya, QT. QT. Parang nagkaroon lang ng balbas eh. Pero ganyan na, ganyan na itsura niya. Alala ang alala ko siya. High school ako, pinapanood ko siya. Ganyan na rin yung galawan niya. Kaya lang, mas malalaki ang kalaban dito ah, sa college level, of course. Hindi siya nakalusot doon sa depensa ni Eze. Magandang hapon sa magulang ni Francis Monsayak. Si Tito Mike Monsayak and si uh, Tita Kendi Monsayak. His father and his stepmom. Talking about Francis Monsayak. Oliveria, the jump shot. In and out, Eze is there. Gets fouled. He will head to the line for two freebies. Yun ang masakit for EAC. Being able to stop the first attempt 
pero nakakuha ng offensive rebound dito si Eze. And I'm sure Lamino would love to take that back. But Lamino now has four personal fouls. Medyo nahihirapan si Lamino sa loob. He just had 10 rebounds, 24 nga. Ang ginagab na rebounds ni Amado Lamino in their last game against an undersized Letran squad pero against two Nigerian behemoths. Eh, talagang mapapahirapan niya talaga siya sa loob. Eh, nagpapalitan ba naman? <laughs> Itong si Mr. Brightside at saka si Eze. Tapos siya walang kapalitan eh. Oo, oh, kasi nga, unfortunately, nawala nga yung kanyang katandem na si Embang. But I'm sure, may magsistep at may magsistep up at magsistep up dito sa EAC. Morada, the drive. Morada to Lamino. If EAC wants to make a last-ditch effort to come back and probably make another upset, against a heavyweight like Perpetual Altas, now is the time to do so. 2.23 left, Morada with that drop pass na throw niya yung depensa ni Eze, and Lamino is at the line. And Lamino today, on the free throw stripe. This is very possible. We saw Kanina, JRU beat Mapua. Yes. Last two minutes, last three minutes lang umabal doon ang Jerry because of their star player, Tate Tudor. So I'm sure we will see, or EAC will try to make the same feat as JRU today. They have to make some defensive stops. I'm talking about EAC. Tagangon. Wide open. 4-3. No. There's that stop they were looking for. Nakuha ni Pasqua. 3 on 2. On Wubere. And that was a good trail job by On Wubere. Gets fouled and he will head to the line for two free throws. So... Sinusubukan unti-untiin ang kalamangan ng perpetual nitong EAC. That was a good look on a fast break by Pasqua to Onwubere. Kaya nga, nasa free throw stripe na si Sydney. Ito yung magagandang mga attempts ng EAC. This is a good way to catch up dito sa lamang ng perpetual. Take shots from the free throw line. Kasi nga, hindi gumagalaw ang oras pero you can score at the same time. So ito mga kailangan natin. They need to stay aggressive and look, more, look for more free throws to come. 2 of 5 at the line si Sidney on Wubere. So if you're EAC, kailangan mo i-hit yung mga free throws na yun, Mike. You know firsthand how valuable <laughs> Very valuable free throws are. It can haunt you in the end, and that's what it did to you. Let's like talk about the free throw story, Mike. But what I like about EAC is they really are attacking the defense of yes. Perpetual. This is going to be the 29th and 30th free throw of EAC. Perpetual only with 9. 5 of 12 at the line itong si Lamino, Mikey. 5 of 12 today. EAC, 13 of 29 from the free throw strike. So that's 16 free throws right there. 6 of 13 now at the line is Lamino. They have to hit all their free throws. I'm talking about the Generals. Nice steal by Lamino. Yun nga lang nakuha ulit ng Altas. Ang ganda ng fake ni Oliveria. Dalawa pinadaan sa ere doon. Si Corilla at si Onwubere. And Oliveria gets another point. And another mental lapse from EAC. Medyo na-shocked in a full sila doon. Dalawang taong nag-inbound para sa kanila. Pero looking at this, ang ganda. Counter steal. Nabato kay Oliveria. This strong move of the game is brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Bola na naman ng Perpetual. So even without Scotty Thompson, pinapangalagaan ng altas ang kalamangan. A sky and high for the Riva. rebound and getting quality minutes si Gerald Dizon para kay Coach Arik Del Rosario, Mikey. Yun yung mga kailangan nila, especially now na wala si Scotty Thompson. Hindi masyadong, hindi masyadong pumutok si Scotty Thompson this game. Like this guy, is eh. Yan ang mga tumutulong sa kanilang star players na medyo nagsistruggle today, Mr. Brightside and the Pearl. But it's okay, Our Coach Arik Del Rosario is very, very happy. 66 to 53, we will see if Coach Andy can adjust. Cheerleaders of the University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas. Still cheering, still jeering. 
despite Scotty Thompson going down with that severe ankle injury. Hopefully he can come back and play in their next game. Like I said, Perpetua is looking at the bigger picture. They're looking at their next games. This may be in the bag if they make a good stop here. Perpetua will help will be in action against JRU. So another Final Four team. Yes, next Tuesday. At mataas ang moral ng JRU after beating Amapua. Hinabol nila 19 points dun. And Monsayak to Onwubere not connecting. A minute and ten. Down 13. And Ontamayo comes back for perpetual help. Kung ikaw ang EAC, sayang yung mga ganong possession, Mikey, no? Oh, pero they should learn from experience. Ito nga, charge to experience na naman itong game na to. Hindi sila pwede nagpapalamang ng ganong-ganong lang at and expect to catch up in the end. But of course, they will need their starters to contribute a little bit more, especially itong mga main gunners nila. And Eze hits. He has a total of 17 now. Prince Eze with 17 points and 8 rebounds today. Munsaya against two white shirts on Wobere. Goes closer. The drop pass to a different man. Last touch of a white shirt. That was the Eze effect. So, ulit ulit ko. Kahit hindi niya nasupalpal yung kita mo naman din drop off doon on Wobere. And if it it was any other player na umabang kay Mubere, I believe he would have gone strong to the basket. Lamino, couple of picks. Na isahan with that up and under move. Na isahan niya si Prince Eze, but a little too light. Para dito kay Lamino. Pag pumutok si Lamino in their past few games, ngayon si Lamino meron lang 10 puntos. And Morada. Morada did not yes, show up today. Right. I'm sure he will go back to the drawing board. Itong buong EAC team. I think it's important they could gain confidence again. Sa mga practices nila, sa mga next few days nila, they could recover from this. Of course, they still beat the Letran Knights. So th we know their potential. Hindi lang lumabas today. But I'm sure in the next games, kusubukan nilang ilabas ulit. Uy! Ang nilang galing. Sorry, miss. Para Gerald Tyson. Sorry siya dahil libre-libre na nga. At pagsak na naman ng isang manlalaro natin. Pero tayo naman siya. Itong si Raymond Pasqua. He is also a tough cookie. And EAC will be in action, Mikey, this week. Again, uh, they will face the Lyceum Pirates on Thursday. It will be Anton Rojas, our brother, together with Coach Alan Gregorio in that game. And it will be San Beda versus San Sebastian in the main game. It will be yours truly, together with Coach Mix Bustos. What is there to look forward to for EAC after back-to-back -back wins kamaya na nga mga coaches natin at center court I'm sure I'm sure they're looking forward to their next game yeah they're going they're going up against Lyceum who is also struggling struggling as of the moment so it will be a big game both for EAC and Lyceum both are looking for momentum as we go on to our break and enter the second round that's a wrap Andre we'll be right back after a few reminders Oh, actually, we won't. Uh, we won't have a few reminders. Uh, so we will uh, actually wrap this ball game up. There is Prince Eze. Eze just leading the way for the Altas. And our best player, Mikey, is that man. Yes, Prince Eze. 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 blocks. He's going step up because he's struggle with struggle this main gunner of Perpetual. Namely, Bright Aquetti. We talked about the pregame, the leading scorer of the league. Di masyadong gumawa today and I'm sure babawi ang next game also we feel for Earl Scott Scotty Thompson we, they need him they need him next game they need him for the rest of the season pero yung bench players kung pwede ko lang ipigay yung, yung player of the game award sa buong bench ng perpetual binigay ko na pero kay Eze really stepping up sa absence nitong dalawang main gunners nila at ang games nga natin on Thursday August 13th still here at the arena in San Juan it will be Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals taking on the Lyceum of the Philippines University Pirates. Sa ating unang laro. At it's sa atin ni Anton Rojas and Coach Alan Gregorio. And for our second game and main game, it will be the five-time defending champs, San Beda Red Lions, who are solo at number two with six and one. Ay kakalabanin ang San Sebastian College Recoletos Golden Stags.
Ay, Ay, naman. Na, na, isahan na, ako na, ni Derek Abbott <laughs> Ramos. Na, Sabi ko, di niya ako mahuhuli. <laughs> Direct ano ba yung kina- ano 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 ginagawa ko dyan? Ano yung ginagawa? Hindi ko alam ano ginagawa mo, Andre. Naisahan tayo na ni Direk Abed. Thank you, Direk. Strike two na sa akin, Direk. Gusto kong maiyak ngayon, Direk Abed. Maraming salamat. Mikey, as always, a pleasure working with you, my friend. Of course, Papi. Till next time. That's right. See you again, Mikey Reyes, aming uh, director na si Direk Abed Ramos. Ada Carlos Bayuga. Of course, uh, Myrtle Sangosa. Maraming salamat din. Sa inyong pagtutok, mga kapamilya, kanina nga lamang ay nanalo ang Jerry with that 19-point rally and that comeback, 90-87 against Mapua. At ngayon nga, panalo ang Perpetual Help Alta, 68-55 against the EAC Generals. Para po sa ABS-CBN Sports, ako po si Andre Felix, nagsasabing lagi po kayong tumutok dito lamang sa NCA Season 91 on ABS-CBN Sports. Have a great Tuesday and great week ahead. God bless you.